Did you know we're actually related, Inquisitor? Related? Oh, not first cousins or anything like that. Can you imagine? You're a Trevelyan, however, and somewhere in dank nethers of my family tree, there was also a Trevelyan. Perhaps he was even the one who ventured to Ostwick to establish the branch. We are talking long ago, of course. You know that off the top of your head. Not the top. Maybe the lower middle thereabouts. Bloodlines are serious business in Tevinta. You're taught lessons and tested by strict nannies. I heard your family mentioned, and I had to go through all the old mnemonics, but yes, there it is. I knew there was a reason we looked so much alike. I can't see it, but nice to know. Learn something new every day. Nice, isn't it? Like being at a quality library, provided you're not the one stocking the shelves. Dorian, there's a letter you need to see. A letter? Is it a naughty letter? A humorous proposal from some Antivan dowager? Not quite. It's from your father. From my father? I see. And what does Magister Hallward want, pray tell? A meeting. Show me this letter. I know my son. What my father knows of me would barely fill a thimble. This is so typical. I'm willing to bet this retainer is a henchman, hired to knock me on the head and drag me back to Tevinter. You think your father would actually do that? No. Although I wouldn't put it past him. Let's go. Let's meet this so-called family retainer. If it's a trap, we escape and kill everyone. You're good at that. If it's not, I send the man back to my father with the message that he can stick his alarm in his wit's end. There seems to be bad blood between you and your family. <laughs> Interesting turn of phrase. But you're correct. They don't care for my choices, nor I for theirs. Because you wouldn't get married. Because you left. That too. Let's go meet this retainer then. I wonder how much my father paid this man to wait around just in case I showed. <sighs> we'll find out soon enough. And we will, Darren, that we will. But just not quite yet. A little later. Ooh, my phone. Let's park our ass. Impressive, is it not? Fit for a leader, meant to show influence and the burden of it. It is where the Inquisition will sit in judgment. Where you will sit in judgment. Who will I be judging exactly? Those who have done wrong. You will know of them, at the very least. All this presumes they have survived their initial encounter with you, of course. Still more lives in my hands. You are a beacon of law, Inquisitor, as others retreat from responsibility. But this needn't be bloody. The Inquisition's sovereignty is derived from the allies who validate it. You are both empowered and bound. Justice has many tools. If their application is clever, execution may even seem merciful by comparison. Is there anyone I should judge? Take the throne when you're ready. We will bring him before you. Oh dear. Which poor un uh, uncomfortable... Uncomfortable. Which poor unfortunate fellow am I going to have to execute now? This was a surprise. After you return from the bogs, we discovered this man attacking. The building. With a... goat. Chief Movran the Under. He feels slighted by the killing of his Avar tribesmen, who repeatedly attacked you first. What should we do with him? Where should he go?
You answered the death of your clan with a goat. <laughs> a courtroom? Unnecessary. You killed my idiot son, and I answered, as is my custom, by smacking your holdings with goat's blood. Don't look at me. No foul. You meant to murder Tevinters, but got feisty with your Inquisition. A red-headed mother guarantees a brat. Do as you've earned, Inquisitor. My clan yields. My remaining boys have brains still in their heads. <laughs> I don't know. He could go in that... what's it called? A gibbet? Chief Movran, you'll be placed in a gibbet to serve as an example to... someone. Then... probably released. Gibbet? <laughs> gibbet? Gibbet? <laughs> yeah. That confused the fuck out of me as well. You recall Gerion Alexius of Tevinter. Ferelden has given him to us as an acknowledgement of your aid. The formal charges are apostasy, attempted enslavement, and attempt in assassination, on your own life, no less. Tevinter has disowned and stripped him of his rank, you may judge the former Magister as you see fit. I remember what would have happened to Thedas if his treachery had succeeded. I couldn't save my son. Do you think my fate matters to me? Will you offer nothing more in your defense? You've won nothing. The people you saved, the acclaim you've gathered. You lose it all in the storm to come. Render your judgment, Inquisitor. Your magic was theoretically impossible, Alexius. I could use people like you. Your sentence is to serve, under guard, as a researcher on all things magical for the Inquisition. No execution. <sighs> Very well. Any more? No. <laughs> amusing. Bit silly, but amusing. The first one, anyway. Look at all this crap. New area, new area, new area, new area, new area. I in a court between the Marquis and the Dowager. Wonder of wonders. Perhaps they can be useful. New to area. Control. Yeah, quite a few new areas. Inquisitor, well, that was bracing. A pitch battle between evil mages, disguises, kitchen servants, fireballs flying, and swords flashing. It brings back old memories. I won't be eating anything coming out of those kitchens for a while. Let me tell you, I wonder if they were going to poison me. Nasty little cultists. Anyway, I'm grateful for the Inquisition's help. We wouldn't have found them without you, King Alistair Ferrin. Or Ferrian, or however it's pronounced. Here he comes, Lutica, to butcher name. Dear Lady Josephine, Lord Elbrecht appears to have been mollified for now. Or... At least he has found something to occupy himself with inside his estate. 
I believe we may consider this a triumph. Of yours, a Lady Buttlefort. That is such a borderlandish name. Cousin of Sir Hamelock. I wonder if do uh, a bundle of documents at least 50 pages thick explains the trade agreement the Inquisition has entered into with the Merchant Princes of Antiva. Josephine has attached a note. Inquisitor, I am more than satisfied with the agreement we reached with the Merchant Princes. Here is a duplicate if you wish to review it. I would put aside three days and two dozen candles. <laughs> uh, no, I think I'll trust you. To work? Find the warden. Hawkers revealed the that Corypheus can influence the minds of Grey Wardens. If the Darkspawn bring them under his sway, he'll command a legion of highly skilled warriors. The Inquisition must hunt down Hawk's Grey Warden ally, hiding in Crestwood, to learn about the other Warden's plans. No one has travelled to or from Crestwood since the breach, and Liliana will send her fastest agent to discover what the disaster has rendered in silent. A hasty scrawled note, scrawled, scrawled note, received by a messenger bird inquisitor. Hawk's uh, warden friend is somewhere here. Disappeared before we could talk to him. He's good. Be careful on the road. Lots of undead. People here need our help. Explain more once you're here. I could go there right now, but I'm not gonna, not just yet. I'm gonna get our other people using these and stuff. A note and carefully handwritten from a youth who recently arrived to the Inquisition. I run bandits stalking your patrols. They are the usual kind, and I can show your people where they are. I have tried to stop them, but they have swords, and I don't. If you have extra, I will help. I want to help. D. Sutherland. Inquisitor. Any chance he's a friend of Red Jenny? Sounds like something one of those agents would say. Well, that settles it. We face a Darkspawn Magistar who commands something that looks especially like an Archdemon. I defy anyone to tell me that this is no blight. We have Blackwall Treaties and we have uh, Cause. Fadus will require little persuasion. He would take the longest, she would take slightly less long, and she would take the quickest. Information and conscripts are well enough, Mr. Inquisitor, but gold secures these things, and more. What we need is information. Grey Warden influence may loosen even the tightest lips. We need to bolster our forces. Let me conscript more soldiers. Hmm. All of them are actually quite good, but Inquisitor. she's the only one left, so... <laughs> That's what we'll be doing. I'm almost certain there is more to do in Skyhold. So let's open the map. That's the reports. Go aid the Empress, but I'm not going to just yet. Uh, I could talk to Cullen. Cullen probably has a mission for me. So, yep. Out we go, talk to Cullen, and then we'll go and. Uh, have a look at that Grey Warden stuff. I'm going to be so massively overpowered when I end up going to uh, rescue a certain Empress. If I say this the right way, yes it is. Was there something you needed? Is there anything I should know? I'm glad to have the charges on our side. Bull's men are professionals, despite evidence to the contrary. What do you think of the people you work with? Who do you mean? I should let you get... Um... Wasn't there like a quest? That Cullen wanted? 